Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. On this outing today, it's Bro and myself. Up at first light, that's the moon still up. We're off out to one of our favourite permissions. We're going to go after squirrels. It's one of the more prolific locations we go to. But because of that reason, I put a peanut feeder right up further in the wood and hope to get more squirrels out of it. You've seen it in a previous video, I only got the one. And at this point in time, I'm quite optimistic about getting some more off of it. We pull up at the gate. Bro's on the camera, obviously, as I'm driving. That's the sunrise view over the hill behind us. This is what's happened to the peanut feeder up in the woods. It's had quite a chew in. This is why I think why luck might be in today. So I'll kick the proceedings off. I've changed the position to 90 degrees to the feeder to allow for a better shot. Nice pine woods there with a the dray directly above it. Looking promising to me. When I sighted the feeder, I made sure there was something nearby. There it is, in all its glory. Like I said before, I'm 90 degrees to it, looking down the hill. The last time I shot a squirrel, dropped on the floor and I couldn't see it properly because of the lay of the land. But that's where I am, in that hide, looking downhill. Beautiful morning. Sun's coming through the trees. And as you can hear, lots of bird activity in the woods. I'm just zeroing in my rifle on this little cone that I pointed out earlier on. And then it'll do, whether you have a spinner or not. That's a Theoban Rapid I'm using, 2 0 calibre, shooting Crossman Premiers. It always pays to check the zero on your setup just before you start shooting. It's the right thing to do. Gives you a lot more confidence. Even though I checked it yesterday, I still check it on the morning. You never know what might have happened to your rifle in the meantime. That's a buzzard flying off. He was sat down the bottom. Big old bird. That's all the footage I got of him. He spotted me, unfortunately. I just took to filming him while waiting for all these squirrels to arrive. And this was pretty much my view for the entire session. Because I got absolutely nothing. So the potential of this feeder was never realised today. This is why I said in the first video, tried it once and only got one. Anyway, over to Bro now. He's on the other feeder, Air Arms S410. Launching his favourite Webby Power Pals. I'll leave it up to him to hopefully get some more action than I did. I even got a pheasant come to his feeder. It's a well-established feeder now. A few grains on the floor. The owner here runs pheasants for his own shooting, himself and his friends. And here we have squirrel number one for Bro. Looks very much like the squirrel and the pheasant have spotted Bro moving. Or something else is amiss. Here comes another squirrel down the back of the feeder. Bro's already got his scope cam on. This is a dominant squirrel by the look of it. Force the other one off quite easily. It's always a good day when you can get two squirrels on a feeder. This one's going to bother the other one. There we go. Bro could see that was going to happen. So you just have to wait until it's come back. It's sat still so we can shoot it in the head. Nothing wrong with that shot. Straight through the brain, squirrel to the ground. Another bit of a kick about while Bro's searching the other one out. The tendency is the second squirrel might hang out up in the tree somewhere or just out of sight. But after a little bit of quiet time, it usually comes and has a feed itself. So it pays to have a look about. They don't tend to run off. Last twitch is there, that squirrel. And here we have it, a few minutes wait. I'm pretty sure that's the other squirrel. 
Pro will work out where his zoom is in a minute. The trouble with this film in Malarkey. There we go, scope come on. Just gonna try and find it now. It is a bit of a mess about, but we do listen to our viewers, and as you overwhelmingly decided you'd rather have scope cam, we're going to bring you a lot more of it in 2017. I'm not promising everyone will be, but you'll see a lot more than you did last year, hopefully. I'll be breaking at the sniper cam myself. Anyway, Bro's waiting for this one to settle, or stand still, like that. The pheasant caused it to go on alert for a second, stick its head up. Bro was on the station to take the shot. Nothing wrong with that. That's another advantage of a small shelf. The tendency is the few kicks they do do, they end up on the floor. You haven't got to go and pick them off, which you have to do sometimes. On the odd occasion, they don't move at all. No main camera for this, only scope cam. This pigeon's come in. It's a wood pigeon. The only one some reduced in number. The bro's going to line up on it for a headshot in a second, hopefully. Let's have a look at the squirrels on the floor. It's keeping very still. Nice still head there. That's more like it. Nothing wrong with that headshot. Pretty much textbook. It's a definite advantage to having the scope cam on the rifle there. He picked it up and all he had to do was film with one camera on the back of the rifle. And there's a still from the video. That was a exact moment after impact you see all the dust that kicks up off that pigeon looks like it's smoking got two squirrels and a pigeon down already bro's got the camera on very carefully lifts it up this one's come galloping straight into the feeder see the sunshine coming in on that side of the wood another great advantage of sighting a feeder shelter from the wind nice bit of sun at least that's what we believe anyway. This one's a bit nervy by the look of him. Look at the ones on the floor. That's never normally a barrier to shooting them. This is more like it. It's had a look. It's come in for the feeder. You can see this time and time again. Tracking it with a scope cam. There is no advantage of shooting quickly here. And even at this short range, 15 yards, that head movement will defeat you. You'll miss it or you'll wound it. You know for what it's hungry. If it was that worried, it would have sprinted away. That was a corvid, crow, magpie, that type of thing. It would have seen the dead one, had a fit, and it wouldn't come near the place. And this is why these feeders work so well. To lure them out of the wood. Being as bros tracking it with a rifle, if it did stop still for any reason, it would be getting shot. But the main aim is to wait for it to sit up and eat, just like that. Bro is on station. See the blood just rushing out of its head? Before it shakes and drops to the floor. You can pretty much tell by the reaction the shot was good. First just have a look for his scope cam just in case it needed a second shot. That's why he didn't rush to cock the rifle. Nothing needed. Job was done with the first pellet, which is our normal aim. Here comes a J. These are on the list here. That one's sitting still long enough. The owner wants them removed. Numbers reduced. They're a bit smarter than your average squirrel. During the interlude between squirrels, pro video some of the wildlife. It's gorgeous being out in the woods this time of the day, this time of year. You see all sorts of good things. We've seen these birds come in before, pull tail, hair out of the squirrels for nested material by the beakful. I did think that was going to happen here, but unfortunately it didn't. Bro's got the camera on again. Just spotted a squirrel come down a tree. When you're filming, you have to lean forward and open the camera up, wake it up, get it on. So you tend to miss a bit of footage, unless you can see them coming from a way off. You know they're going to be making a beeline for that feeder eventually. 
that's why it's quite a bit easier filming squirrels than a lot of other quarry especially likes of the corvids anyway the main camera's on if you didn't have cameras you'd have gone straight for the rifle and this is the sort of view you'd be getting you look into the telescopic sight from the word go and tracking it waiting for a shot this one's presenting absolutely none at the moment. Here are the caves down the hill in the barn the owner built. This one's having a peek under the feeder. That's a good shot at the top of the head if it kept it still. That was on alert now. Probably take that shot. But it's not. It's got to be patient. Just wait for it to sit still. There we go. Asking for it. And it got it. Bro's looking over the top of the camera now. And now he's looking in the scope. Sometimes pays to switch views. There's no need to give it a second shot, in my opinion. Bro obviously thought it needed it. Those are the types of decisions you make in the moment. It's easy to sit back looking at it in hindsight. Nothing wrong with the kill, though. It's got the camera on. Looking at the right-hand side of the hide. So the hole I normally sit looking out of. Seen some movement over there somewhere. Definitely a squirrel there, he reckons. He's got the camera in that area. And he'd be looking over the top of it now. Knowing the camera's going to catch all sorts of stuff that he can't see. There it is. He did see one. Maybe it popped into view and went to the right a bit more. But now it's coming in. On one of the logs that we propped up there. very often act as a bit of an indicator these bouncy branches we put there squirrel waits enough to make them move catches your eye or you hear a bit of a bang as it jumps off it sometimes we nod off in the hide believe it or not early in the morning you open your eye and suddenly there's a squirrel there you have to wake up and shoot it see the target card is on there that's what bro is doing the zeroing on Just coming straight down to have a look at the ones on the floor. If you watch many of our videos, you've seen this countless times before. Normal behaviour. I keep saying it. Because some of you think I should just shoot it any old way while it's on there. And that's never going to happen. That wouldn't have been a bad shot if you could see more of its head. It seems to be quite calm. Just look at the body language. No tail flicking. Seems to be keen to feed. It's all bro needs. He's got the rifle up. Scope come on. And start tracking this fella. Wait for the opportune moment to shoot it. This is the normal sound of the woodland. The squirrel won't be hearing anything other than what it normally hears. Any fly in the opening for it is there's a few dead squirrels on the floor and a dead pigeon. Tempting. Bro's hedging his bets, it's going to come for a feed. It looks like it's going to. We still can't get over the ones on the floor. We're going to have another look. Maybe it thinks it's a trap, I don't know. Plenty of time. Nice and sunny day. Here we go. Nice and still. We'll jump forward. We'll hit the fence. I'll switch to this view because the other camera didn't have actually anything on it. We can see perfectly well it's a good shot. Here comes another squirrel. 
same direction. Then the tree from the right. These little squirrel highways tend to be so frequently used. A little pet theory, they use certain runways so they can smell who's been about. And this one spotted the ones on the floor. Dive down. Just going to run in and have a look at them. We just have to put up with this type of behaviour. It's not shotgun shooting, so you have to wait for it to sit still with their rifle. No point trying to shoot it running. That one didn't like something. And bro's checked all these eight through the scope. None of them are breathing. Maybe that one recognised the one on the floor, I don't know. It definitely seems to be on alert. Nice and still there though. Could potentially take a shot. If it presented itself. Very still indeed, and very tempting. No, it's going to run off to the right. Bro has got his scope cam on. And I'll show you now why he never took the shot. But this is the point he got the scope cam on. This wouldn't have happened if he was free shooting. We've got the camera sorted first before you can take the shot. He just about gets comfortable to take the shot. Lining up on it, and just at the point he would have taken the shot, that's when it ran off. So that's why it wasn't shot there. For any of you wondering what was going on, it's all down to the fact we're filming. And if we weren't, it would have been shot. This one sat behind some sticks now. Not sure if it's the same one or not. Possibly is. Sometimes I'll run out, have a think about it and come back, but their belly will be grumbling. It's a good time of year, beginning of the year, for the feeders to work. And on sunny days, they seem to have all the time in the world. Doesn't ever seem to be any rush. Not really any shot on there. Too many sticks in the way. So we just left the camera on him. You have to put up with this sometimes when you're shooting, with or without the camera. No point in being a hero and trying to thread a pellet through all the sticks and prove how good a shot you are. What you've got to do is be patient. Uh, the modern world seems to be a bit ADHD these days and wants it yesterday. But patience is a good skill to learn. This one is testing the patience though, isn't it? Did you see that seamless cut then? I actually lopped out over two and a half minutes of video out of that sequence. I tried to put it on ten times speed, and my rubbish computer couldn't handle it. I actually lost an awful lot of video then. It sat there for ages. Difficult to tell on the end, didn't it? It sat so still. But now it's on the move. Bro sat there the entire time looking on. Could have probably had a couple of cups of tea. This one's moving into the danger zone. After all that time sat looking, it's still having another look. Lots of tail flicking. It's not a happy squirrel at all, this one. It's on the roof. Have a good old scratch. These are proper flea bags, these things. Bro's going to waste no time if it sits still, just like that. And after all that, we've got a squirrel on the deck. Pretty good shot that bro. Nice bit of patience. Not a lot of kicking out of that one. But worth the wait. Here comes another one, just like the other one. This one is actually approaching the feeder. a good old look and again this one seems to be 
a problem squirrel doesn't want to come in sat quite still where bro's looking at it from it's to the right of his camera and that post is actually in the way he hasn't got a shot on it's a little bit iffy from the camera's point of view you can see it sat there doesn't want to play ball it's obviously eyeballing the ones on the ground flicks its tail and it decides to wander off bro tries to catch up with it with his camera what he's done now is he's using his scope cam he's poked it through the other hole in the hide and you can see the squirrel just ran off no mess in there it did eventually sit still so far over to the right you have to shoot it through the other hole in the hide you can see it moving nothing wrong with that shot sometimes a scope cam comes in useful this type of thing that's where he's looking with his normal camera that's the other hole what he had to do was shuffle round get the rifle out and it was on that branch down there bro's just showing you what just happened obviously the scope cam was the only camera he could put on it at the time that's where it was shot from they all count here comes another one bro spotted it coming from the right got the camera on you can see it through the other hole gets a bit of a heads up very often when I'm shooting and he's filming from this position he'll give me a kick let me know something's coming he's got a better view sideways as you saw from the last shot this one's come in had a proper panic attack and it looks like another squirrel's the reason for that not the dead ones so there's two squirrels in the area it was nice to know this one's decided to go and have a sit on the top we do shoot them off here which obviously sometimes you have to go and pick them off you can see the tip of bro's fire axe silencer waving around in the top right hand side of the screen he's obviously contemplating shooting it up there if it sits there nice and calmly but with two squirrels about who knows what might happen bro just going to survey the situation for a second or two I think now with the scope cam he decided if this one sits still long enough at the top he's going to shoot it like there you can see the crosshairs wander over nearly a straight on headshot straight to the ground for that one still trying to find it in the scope cam pretty sure that's a good shot even though it's kicked itself over to there in fact the only thing to be worried about about that shot was that particular nanosecond where he lingered a little bit too long for my liking anyway here comes another squirrel not sure if it's the last one that got panicked and ran off he's come in and sat there like he wants to be shot sat up nice and still slight uphill angle top of the feeder just put the crosshairs on the target squeeze the trigger just like that unfortunately it's dropped behind the leg not brilliant but the shot was good so no need to worry about that it's looking over the top of the scope cam then I've just included this last bit of scope cam this one came in no point in including the rest of it because the squirrel ran in saw the ones on the floor and just sprinted up the tree and bro's vainly trying to get a shot on it there's nowhere to be seen it's come in and gone just as quick as it did and this is bro giving up for his session as you can see he did way better than i ever did bonus pigeon there a big pile of dead squirrels pretty good session being as I was sat there the whole time the other end of the wood drinking tea and listening to birdsong
not a bad day out, but that's not why I came. At least Bro upheld the family honour. Let's go to check on this other squirrel he shot to the side. Bit of a slope here, plenty of trip hazards. There he is. Dropped him behind them sticks. That's where he shot him, through that hole over there. So a pretty poor choice of places to sit for the squirrel, really. So endeth Bro's session. There's nine squirrels and a bonus pigeon for him. I've come over to film now. He's got something to show me, so he says, look. Look at the size of them he's going. I'm like, yeah, five males. Yeah, and that's the alpha male. Of course it is, bro. right -o. Off to the doctors for you, my boy. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.